what a what a scene that was. All right, Roy, a Fort Lauderdale-based ministry has lost a five-year legal battle after taking their case all the way to the Supreme Court. The ministry has been labeled a hate group by a well-known advocacy organization. Local 10's Ian Margul is live in Fort Lauderdale to explain more for us. Ian. Christy, the D. James Kennedy Ministries were labeled an LGBTQ hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. A few years back, the ministry filed a lawsuit against the Southern Poverty Law Center because of that label, but as of this week, that lawsuit is officially dead. After about five years of legal battles, the case is closed on the D. James Kennedy Ministries lawsuit against the Southern Poverty Law Center. The ministry's president and CEO is Robert Pacienza, the senior pastor at Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church, which also shares an address with DJK Ministry. Back in 2017, the ministry, which was then called Coral Ridge Ministries, sued the SPLC because they learned the organization had labeled them a hate group. The SPLC cited the ministry's active campaigns against same-sex marriage and the anti-gay rhetoric used by the ministry's namesake, D. James Kennedy. After several local courts threw out the lawsuit, the ministry took their complaint all the way up to the Supreme Court. But this week, the court refused to hear the case, meaning the lawsuit is officially dead. In a statement, the SPLC called it a victory not just for them, but for journalists and organizations who expose hate and extremism across the U.S. Meanwhile, the ministry told us while they appreciated the court's time, they agreed with Justice Clarence Thomas's dissent, which said the case showed how, quote, New York Times and its progeny have allowed media organizations and interest groups to cast false aspersions on public figures with near impunity. Justice Thomas is referring to the 1964 decision, New York Times v. Sullivan, which is a pillar used to protect the freedom of the press and states that in order for a public figure or organization to be defamed, they must show that the statement made was false and that it was done with actual malice, meaning it was said despite whoever said it, knowing it was false. So I did try to speak directly with Pastor Pacienza today, the senior pastor here at Coral Ridge Presbyterian and the president and CEO of the ministry, but I was denied an interview. Now the LGBTQ hate group label, that will stay on the ministry. And the SPLC said, look, we welcome anyone that we designate to use their own First Amendment rights to free speech to fight back against that label. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Ian, thank you.